to me. Welcome to the Belsif Show. I'm your host, Friggin' Belsif. Hey, today on the Belsif Show, I'm dressed like summertime. I got my shorts on. That little old heater up there is just cranking out the old heat. Working on the truck is like working in Florida. It's friggin' great. Today, what I want to update you on is I did get out and I got myself all the ball joints I needed for this truck and they're the right ones this time. So we got the lower ball joint as you see there. Now the only thing is I still got to get a press for that one. We got the upper ball joint. I just set all these in. They're not, nothing's tight. So they're just all sitting here. I got the new shock rooskies and I got the new inner and outer tie rod, which are also just sitting there, but I kind of got them somewhat lined up. I got the spindle there with a the spring all ready to go. So we're almost ready to put this front end back together. We're getting freaking close. Like I said, we gotta run over to Steve's and get this press there. So we can press that bottom ball joint in and then she'll be mint. Friggin' right it will be mint. We took the grill out, the headlights out. I gotta get the pods for the headlights sandblasted cause they're a little rusty. And I got some mesh to put behind the grill. That way you can't see all the stuff, like the horn and stuff in behind the grill. So I got all that. We'll get that done. Same thing on this side. I got, you know, the ball joints kind of semi sitting there and everything like that. Nothing's uh, installed completely yet. When you're doing the tie rod ends, you just set these up on the bench, the old ones, and you can kind of line them up and get them as close as possible and then slap them in the old truck room. Okay? But I'm hoping to get this thing back on the ground before the weekend or just after the weekend. That's my plan. So I want to get her down so we can move on to finishing up the interior. I'm still just dinking around with a cup holder. Kind of got her kind of somewhat ready to go there. Not too bad, eh? We got to recover it and paint it or figure out something to do with that. So leave a comment down below if you think I should do this or that or the other thing and thing. I, I'm not looking forward to seeing what that thing costs in hydro though. 220. Comes on every, I don't know, 20 minutes or so for about 10 minutes or so. So that's not bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Leave your comments down below if you're running a 220 heater, because inquiring minds want to know. Got the bottom of the doors put on. I don't know if I showed you that or not. I'm pretty sure I did. And the door panels, but this is a little cocked over. But I got something for that. I ordered some pinstripe for around here to give it the little look like this, but Stacy washed it on me. She washed the pinstriping, so it's dicked. Oh yeah, look at that, Jim. Fits no problem, that'll fit a large. That'll fit a large. That'll fit a large. We'll be good to go. Then we can spill coffee all over our new carpet. Speaking of new carpet, look how dirty I got it right now. What's really going on? Just wondering if I should order some uh, LED conversion kit light bulbs for this truck. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I do. Let me rephrase that. I don't know if I want to spend the money yet. Let me know if you think I should go with a LED conversion or stick with stock. Acquiring ones want to know. How come that looks crooked? I painted these and redid the screws for the adjustments. Uh. I'm not gonna show you under the hood because it's just gross. We haven't got there yet. Look down there. I redid the uh, steering column. Remember that was a little, little shitty looking? I stuffed her all back down and redid her again. So now it looks good. Same with the upper ball, upper tie rod, or upper control arm. Now you're probably wondering why I'm putting new- Whoa, my back! Oh, I'm hurting tonight, boys, girls, people. Uh, you know what? I'm putting uh, new ball joints in this. Next year, I'm maybe going to tubular control arms for this and maybe bagging it. I don't know yet. I want to just drive the damn thing. I'm tired of working on it. I'm tired of spending money on it. Look at it. Still ain't finished buffing yet. Frank! Got an oil change for it. There you go. See it shut off. The heater shut off. Got an oil change for it. I'm putting some HDR oil in her. Cause I think I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna drive it this summer on that old piece of crap engine. And we'll just cruise around town, burn oil all over the place, it'll be great. That should be pretty fun, what do you think? Tailgate, little off color. It's not quite matching the rest of the truck, which is kind of really bumming me out. Like it's quite a bit darker than the rest of the truck. And I don't know why, but it is. Like I said, it's stressing me out a little bit. Hmm. Hopefully it fades a little. Probably not. Frank. Oh well, hey, can't have everything all at once, you can't. At least it's fixed. But anyways, I'm gonna hop here, I'm gonna have something to eat. This is just a quick update video on that I got the right parts this time because I wanna let you know what's really going on because that's what I freaking do. I haven't sold the rallies yet. If anybody's looking for rally rims, I have four for sale with new centers, 300 bucks. 
Come get them. We're gonna take a ride to skis after lunch, grab the press, and then we'll, uh, tomorrow night, we'll maybe press them in and start putting things back together and see what's what. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see that. Cause I'm not gonna show you unless you wanna see it. But love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification. Don't forget to leave any comments below if you wanna ask me anything. And uh, you know what to do for now.